Hi, this is John Adolny, and you're watching Computer Tech Vids. Today we will be focusing on shortcuts, icons, and how to create shortcuts on your desktop, in your start menu, and wherever else you want to place them. Now, in every Windows this is possible, but uh, I'm using Windows 10 to, uh, to create a shortcut. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first we're going to open our our file explorer here and I want to create a shortcut, an easy shortcut on my desktop to the C drive, which is my main hard drive. Typically people would just type and they would right click on the desktop and go to new and shortcut and you would basically type C colon backslash and name it uh, anything you want to name it. Um, hard drive C. This is an easy way to do it. Um, there are also other ways of doing it. Um, let's go ahead and try something different. Now, in our file explorer, I'm going to drag the hard drive out into the desktop and it says automatically you're prompted right there that says create link in desktop. It automatically creates the link but then it adds up on the bottom over here a shortcut message so that you know that this is actually a shortcut to the C drive. You could actually remove that by renaming the shortcut and deleting it. And there you have it, another way of creating the shortcut. Now, what happens if, if there is a file or a folder that you want that is deep inside of other directories on your hard drive? Typically, what you would do is you would go to your C drive, and let's say I wanted to uh, make a link or a shortcut to the Windows temp folder. So what I would do is go into Windows and, go, and scroll down to temp. And you'll notice that over here is the Windows temporary file where all the garbage is stored on your computer as a temporary. Um, many utilities that you can download for Windows actually cleans these folders out. So if you click on it, you'll notice that we have some garbage in this directory. So normally I always clean this directory out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a quick way to make a shortcut to this folder. Now there are numerous ways of doing this. We can basically hold down uh, inside of our, and just drag our address bar and put it on the desktop and basically it created a, a shortcut to Windows. No, now wherever you position the mouse pointer is where it's going to make the uh, directory or the shortcut to that directory. So I created one for Windows and now I'm going to create one for the temp folder. Now keep in mind this also applies to all different versions of Windows. Uh, anywhere from 95, 98, 2000, Millennium, uh, XP, Vista, 7, 8, 8.1 and uh, Windows 10, etc. So there you have it. Here's our shortcut to the temp file. So let's go ahead and test it out. And there you have it. It automatically linked. It's a shortcut. So let's go ahead and see what's inside this shortcut. We're going to go to our properties and notice that the target which is this little uh, name here is pointing to C colon, which is the main hard drive. It's going into the Windows directory and it's going into the temp folder. And that's where the shortcut is actually linked to. The target location is a Windows folder. That's what this is here. And the target type is a file folder and it's a shortcut to the temp folder. So let's go, I want to basically give this shortcut 
a new icon. I would click on Change Icon, and I would select a different type of icon. Let's say I wanted the shield, I would select it, and I would hit OK, and I would hit Apply. Now notice that over here, my shortcut now has a new icon. All these icons are actually inside of Windows. If you don't like the ones in Windows, you can actually download other icons, ones that you prefer or ones that you like or buy, et cetera, et cetera. There's icon packs for Windows and things like that. There are also third-party software vendors out there um, like Icon Mania um, that allow you to fully, fully customize the entire Windows environment, icon, start menu, stuff, et cetera, et cetera. So I want to rename this, and I want to call it Windows Temp Folder. So now we gave it a new name. So now when we click on it, it should bring us to our temp folder. And there you have it. This is how you create a shortcut on the Windows desktop. Now, in Windows 10, they they sort of did something weird where in order for you to make an icon in the start menu, you'd have to uh, basically create it within that within the the start menu. You can't just drag and drop it anywhere. Um, as you see, it it has its issues in moments. See how you can't drag it and you see a little square with a circle with a line through it, you can't add it nowhere. I'm going to show you how you a cool way you can actually change this and prevent this from being displayed like this, you know. So let's go ahead and click on our start. And basically, if you have anything over here, and I'm, I have like all my computer drives, everything up here, because I love to fully customize my Windows so what we're going to do is we're going to right-click anything, basically, and go down to, uh, let's try something over here. Uh, we're going to right-click and go down to Open File Location. I'm going to use the uh, media feeds over here just as an example. Open File Location. Okay. Now we notice in our file location, uh, previously I had made a, a folder called Media Links. This is inside of your Windows hard drive where Windows is installed. Program Data, Microsoft, Windows, Start Menu, Programs, Tools, and Media Links. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to Tools. Just click one down, okay? And what we're going to do, because we can't create a new file link or a shortcut link in here. The only thing you can create is a folder. What we're going to do is right-click our Windows Temp Folder shortcut, go down to Cut, and we're going to paste it inside of our tools. And then you'll be prompted Destination Folder Access Denied you'll need to provide administrator permission to move this folder. So what we're going to do is click click the continue button over here in our prompt here, and it'll copy it, the shortcut, to the Windows temp folder, to the, the, uh, the shortcut that is under um, our C drive, program data, Microsoft, Windows, start menu, programs, and tools. So now if I go into the start menu, my start menu and go down to all apps and scroll down to tools and go down to tools. You'll notice on the bottom it says new and there's like a little shoot down arrow here. So we're going to click that and go down to Windows temp folder. And we're going to drag this where what we're going to do is we're going to actually right click it once and we're going to go to pin to start and on the bottom 
you'll see the icon and we're going to change its size to small and we're going to drag it up the list. You can place this anywhere you like. I like having my computer well organized so I'm going to place this in my directories area. Notice I have a lot of stuff. See, You can move it up and down wherever you want it just by holding down the left mouse key and dragging it where you like it. So I'm going to go ahead and place it right here under directories. Now I wanted you to be aware of uh, I have made multiple um, folder shortcuts to my folders basically. I have one for my Windows hosts files, one for my user, uh, my user directory, uh, Visual Studio projects, system applications, tools and folders, information center, uh, Firefox downloads, software recovery, my torrents, my OneDrive account, OneDrive, and now there's a new one in here called Windows Temp Folder. So let's go ahead and see if this works. So now I closed out the window completely and we're going to go down to our start menu and scroll down to where we placed our directory uh, shortcut and click it. And voila, you notice that it opens up to the hard drive, my main hard drive under Windows and Temp, which is the actual shortcut that we created to our temp folder. So now, now that we know how to create shortcuts, let's go ahead and create something even better. If you have a favorite website like uh, Facebook.com or Gmail.com, I'm going to show you something really cool that you can do on your desktop. Now if you right click anywhere on your desktop once, just right click, and go down to New and go to Shortcut. In our shortcut, you're going to see, uh, it's going to say, what item would you like to create a shortcut for? And on the bottom over here, um, it says, type the location of the item. Well, we're not going to type a location. What we're, we're going to type is a URL address. All right, so we first start with our HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Or back, okay, and type in www dot facebook dot com and then click next now over here you'll get prompted type a name for this shortcut and we're going to give it instead of by default windows always names it new internet shortcut because after all it is an internet site that you're going to so we're going to go ahead and name it um, my facebook and right here you have it. We now created a shortcut to uh, my Facebook or Facebook. So let's take a look at it inside and see what, what it looks like. You right click on face, the, the new icon shortcut you just created and right click it and go down to properties. Now this is what it's doing. Instead of linking up to a folder, you're actually linking up to a URL. Okay, and the URL is facebook.com. There are no shortcut keys yet. Uh, visits there are unknown, but I don't like this icon, so we're going to go ahead and change it. And we're going to give it something really cool, but this time I don't want it to use the Firefox Fox directory or nothing. So I'm going to say no, and we're going to change this. We're going to give it an icon that I had previously downloaded before um, for this example. And we're going to give it a nice icon. Um, we're going to give it this folder here. And notice that the folder appears down and select an icon from the, from the list below. And my icon is right here. This is where I browsed to from my directory, which is under C colon, my main hard drive, users, Shadow Defender, Icons, and uh, Icon Packs. And the name of the icon is right here. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. Cancel just cancels it out and leaves it by default icon. 
and we're just going to use this folder one. So we're going to click OK. Then we're going to hit Apply and OK. Now, you'll now notice that now my new uh, shortcut links up to Facebook.com, and it has this beautiful icon right here. So let's go ahead and click it. And there you have it. It opens up Facebook.com. Keep in mind that you can make any URL and basically make a shortcut for it, and you link up to anywhere you want. Okay, so now let's say you don't want it, my Facebook on your desktop, but you want it um, in inside of another directory on your computer that has all a whole bunch of URLs. I typically do this uh, myself because I want uh, my desktop to be totally organized. So let's go ahead and get this going here. So we're going to open up our file explorer and I want to go and create a directory inside of my users account and we're going to call this we're going to go into Shadow Defender and we're going to call this my URLs. My U URLs. Okay. So now I created a directory here called my URLs. And you'll notice that it's under Windows 10, which is the C drive, users, Shadow Defender, that's what I'm called on this computer, and the directory we're currently in is my URLs. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and basically copy this URL inside here. Move to my URLs. You see it displayed there. We're just going to drop it right in there. Basically what I did was right click or actually left clicked and held held it down and dragged it in. And then we're going to drag this in. All right. What I'm going to show you next is how to basically create a link or a shortcut on your taskbar here that'll display these links within this folder. So what we're going to do is right click the taskbar and go down to go up to toolbars and you're going to hit new toolbar. Now this window uh, comes up over here that says new toolbar choose a folder. Okay what we're basically going to do is link our shortcut to this new folder. This is the new folder I created. Remember it's under our hard drive our main hard drive users Shadow Defender, my URLs. All right, so we're going to go ahead and navigate there. Okay, so we're going to go to our C drive. We're going into our users, Shadow Defender, and we're going to look for my URLs. And it's right here. Click it and then hit select folder. Now, notice on the bottom. We're going to close this off over here. Uh, notice on the bottom, inside of my taskbar by the clock and the notification area, your little sound speaker and your little internet and your, your little uh, sh show hidden icons, and you'll notice that there's a new area here called My URLs. So now you see, you see these two little arrows. If you click them by left clicking, You'll notice my Facebook is there, Windows Shortcuts and Windows 10. And I want to open my Facebook from here. Bingo. Now, because we created this file, we want to actually create more shortcuts in this file and display them in this tiny menu that pops up over here the my URLs. So what, what I'm going to do is I want to go back to my hard drive. So what we're going to do is click on File Explorer and this time I want to make a shortcut to air1.com which is my favorite uh, website 
and radio station. You can hear music, Christian music. It's beautiful. So we're going to go to uh, this PC and click on my main hard drive, which is the C colon, and go into our users. And under our users, we're going into Shadow Defender or whatever you call yourself. Uh, Shadow Defender won't exist on your PC. Maybe your PC uh, public folder is uh, Joanna or Alex or Karina or Dave or Joe or some other name you decided to give it. Uh, mine is Shadow Defender, so we're going to click on Shadow Defender and we're going to go to My URLs. And this time, I want to right-click and go down to New and then choose a choose shortcut. It has this little arrow over here. So we're going to go ahead and click shortcut. Our trusted prompt window uh, uh, pops up again saying create shortcut and we're going to type in another URL. So we're going to go to HTTP and we're going to go to Air1. So it's www.air1.com and we're going to hit next and we're going to call this my air one radio and we're going to click finish now by default it gives us this little tiny um, Mozilla Firefox icon because Mozilla is what I have as my um, my internet explorer thing like you would say our browser now we would right click it and go down to properties and give it another icon. I don't like the, the uh, Mozilla icon, so I want to give it my own type of icon. By default, um, because we're using Firefox as our web browser, it gives us the options of using the web browser icons, and I don't like those either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit browse, and I'm already inside of my icon directory, which is this PC, my main hard drive, under users, Shadow Defender, icons, and icon pack one. And I want to give this uh, another icon. We're going to click OK. After we have selected, we're going to click OK. And OK. Now notice that the icon actually changed, and it also appears down here inside of our menu within this folder, My URLs. So when we click it, Air 1 should open up and be displayed. Now, what if you wanted to, you wanted to actually create a directory shortcut within the My URLs folder. And this is how you would do that. You would go to F File Explorer, this PC, Windows 10, or whatever your name, your, you named your main hard drive, which is C colon. And we're going to go to Users, Shadow Defender, and back into My URLs folder. Now let's say I wanted to create um, a shortcut to a file or an exe. Let's do an exe this time. So I wanted to create an exe file uh, to Notepad. All right. So. If you don't know where Notepad is, we're going to find it. So we're going to go ahead and go to click Browse, this PC, which is up here, and we're going to go to my main hard drive, and we're going to go to Windows. And inside Windows, I want to look for Notepad. This is, by the way, is the Windows Notepad. Don't get confused with this. This is a, 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 a shortcut to a Notepad++. Plus Plus. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click Notepad++, Plus, or I'm sorry, uh, Notepad, Windows Notepad. And then we're going to click OK. Now, 
we're going to make Notepad appear inside of here, inside of the My URLs folder. Then we're going to click Next, and we're going to name it Notepad, or it's already named Notepad. So we're going to click Finish. And now our shortcut to the EXE Notepad is placed inside here. Now, when I click on the little arrows down here that are facing the right side. When you click them, Notepad should appear here, and now you can start Windows Notepad. Hi, John. Now, what if you have a folder that you want to drag inside here also? Um, this folder can contain anything you want. Um, I want to do it with the the desk. Okay, over here there's a on my right side of my screen here there's a folder called desk, and I want and inside here I have a directory manager, which is a program I've been working on. Apps to get backup of 2016. Uh, check firewall and download this. So now I want to actually move this whole entire contents of this folder inside of my URLs directory because I want my computer to be a lot more neater. So let's go ahead and drag it in. You're going to be prompted right there. Uh, it says move to my URLs. So we're going to go ahead and let it go. What I did was I clicked it and with my left mouse click and dragged it inside of here. So now you notice that there's no shortcut. Um, inside of this for this uh, this directory here the folder the folder itself there's no shortcut that's why you don't see a little tiny arrow on the bottom over here like you see little arrows on everything else that's the difference between creating a shortcut and not having a folder or file that has a shortcut to it it doesn't display a little tiny arrow so what, not, what happens now is that when you click these little um, arrows here, desk should automatically appear in there. And inside desk, you'll notice that there's another window that just popped up. And inside of here, I have directory manager, apps to get, backup of 2016, check firewall, and download this. And also there's another window that opens up and it keeps going on and on depending on on how many directories and subdirectories that are inside this folder. So now, what I want to do now is actually change this desk folder. We're going to go to Customize, and we can actually change the folder icon. Now keep in mind, um, when you're changing the folder icon, it doesn't mean that you're changing the, you're, you're making it display an arrow or anything like that. It just changes the actual look of the 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 icon itself. So if we go to change icon and it automatically goes to the shell 32 DLLs because the uh, icons can be inside of ICO files, DLL files, EXE files. Um, icon library files, etc. The list goes on and on. Um, right now, I don't like to use any of these icons inside here, um, just because I just don't like Windows icons much. I like to download my own icon packs. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Browse, and already it's pointing to my icon pack directory, and we're going to give it this folder a new icon look. So we're going to give it this... Uh, This right here, we're going to give it this. Yeah, that looks spiffy, right? Yeah. All right. Now, notice now that instead of you having just OK and cancel, you have restore defaults. Restore defaults basically eliminates adding this, and it restores this, the original icon. That is basically window, what Windows gave it. So we're going to go ahead and click OK, and we're going to click OK again. Now, notice it changed. And 
still that little arrow is not there, which that's what we don't want is the arrow there because this is not a shortcut. This is actually a legit file or folder, I should say. So now if we click down here, we notice that it changed down here also. And it's pretty cool. So now what we're going to do is we could also create shortcuts to other areas of our computer. Basically what I'm, what I'm trying to say is if something that you want to be on your desktop is, is fully entrenched in the system, it means uh, I'm, what I'm talking about is folders that are in folders that are in folders that are in folders. You can actually link them to your desktop also. We're going to go to Programs. You, we're going to use this as an example, and we're going to go to, uh, let's say, um, Windows. Um, we're actually going to go into Windows. I'm sorry about that. We're going to go into Windows, and we're going to go to System 32, and then we're going to go to Drivers. Then we're going to go to ETC, if we can actually find it in here. It's probably hidden. <laughs> That's another... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Drivers and we're going to go to ETC because it's hidden. Okay? And what I mean by hidden is that Windows, d by default, hides directories they don't want you to mess with, uh, the users to mess with, basically. So they have special ways of hiding folders and making them invisible so that nobody can access them. Okay, so now that we're in a hidden part of the, the, the actual uh, C drive inside of Windows, System 32, Drivers, etc. Your main hard drive, this is Windows, System 32, Drives, and etc. ETC, or whatever you want to call it. We're going to drag ETC to the desktop. And we're going to give this a new name. So we're going to basically right click, go down to rename, and name it host file. Okay, because basically what I like doing is basically blocking internet sites using this host file here. Okay, so we're going to close this off and make sure it links. We're going to click on it, and basically the shortcut brought us here. Now, what I'm about to show you is a really cool, clever uh, trick here. Many people don't set up hotkeys um, on shortcuts. They would just rather click on them and move them around or do anything, you know, to make their life easier but I'm going to show you something really special. If you go down to Properties and you go to Shortcut Key, and if you hold down your Control, Alt, and then push H. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a Shortcut Key, Control plus Alt plus H. And we're going to hit OK. So now when I push Control Alt H, it automatically brings us to our ETC file, our host file, basically. Um, people typically use um, shortcuts for many things. I have mapped so many shortcuts to shut down my computer, restart my computer without having to go to start and then go to power and then choose sleep, restart, or shut down, hibernate, et cetera, et cetera, lock, log off. So now we're going to show some, something really cool. Um, what I want to show you is how to shut down your computer with just one click of your mouse. Yes, that's right, one click. So what you're going to do, um, what I did, I want to show you first on how we do this. I, I would open the file, um, open one that I have already created. I cr created one inside the start menu. So we would go to open file, 
and look how it was created. Basically, the target file that we're going to be looking for is the win is inside of Windows System 32 shutdown.exe and these are your switches right here. Slash S shuts down the computer slash slash F forces all applications to close and slash T gives it a timer. Anything from 000 to 999, what it and basically is 999 seconds. So let's go ahead and create a shortcut that's going to do this. What we're going to do is right click on our desktop once, go to New, Shortcut, and then we're going to type in C colon backslash Windows backslash system32 backslash shutdown down oops sorry s h u t d o w n dot e x e and then we're going to put some switches in there we're going to slash restart that's slash R. We're going to slash force programs closed and slash T for time, and we're going to add zero, zero, zero seconds. But wait, we're not over yet. We're going to click next. We're going to, inside where it says shutdown, Windows says we're going to use the application shutdown, so we're going to give shutdown as the name. So what we're going to do is shutdown my PC and then we're going to click finish but we're still not done yet notice that this is the default icon and we're going to go ahead and change a couple of features on this we're going to go down to properties this is how I did it I right clicked and went down to properties and we're going to give it a new icon and this prompt message comes up. Uh, the file C colon Windows 32 shutdown.exe contains no icons. All right. Choose an icon from the list or specify a different one. So what we're going to do is we're going to click OK. And then hit Browse up here because I don't like these Windows icons. We're going to give it something different. We're going to give it this green icon here click, you see it, it appeared over here inside of this white box, and then click OK, and click OK again. It changed our icon, but we're still not done yet. As we all know, shutdown.exe runs in DOS, so we want to prevent the DOS window from showing as well. So we right click it with my right mouse click, and go down to properties, and we're going to change run and when you click down the little arrow here, you have Run Normal, Run Minimized, or Run Maximized. We're going to hit Run Minimized, click Apply. But we're also going to give it a shortcut key, too. We're going to give it Shift, I'm sorry, Control, Alt, and R. So we're going to go Control, Alt, R. and then click Apply and OK. So now when we, when we press Control-Alt-R, it'll automatically reboot the computer. Or if you click it once or twice, depending on how you had that set and changed in your settings, it will automatically reboot your computer. So we're not going to go ahead and click on this because it'll actually restart my computer and I would be totally upset by that because I'm recording live. Um, so now that we did that, I actually um, taught you how to create shortcuts and link to files and folders. I actually also taught you how to create shortcut keys, uh, change the run options, um, also give 
switches to, to uh, EXE files. And that's just about it. Thank you for watching. Like the episode you just saw? Join me next time, and I will be talking about the advanced options inside of Shortcuts. Till then, I'll see you later.